Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. It is Monday morning and the coffee is flowing, but it is time for the next cup. I ran out of coffee this weekend and my wife uh, got me, got some new coffee. I don't even know how to say it, but it's the kind that starts with a G, Gentaliva or Gentaiva or something like that. But I always, I always like that, that particular brand. That's a good one. Okay. And I think it was, um, I think I want to say maybe it was coining 203 that told me he was going to let me try that. I need to try uh, Dominican coffee. I think it was like coffee from like Dominican Republic or something like that. But I, that's been stuck in my head ever since um, he told me that. So I need to need to look into that as well. OK. Mr. B at XRP, Mr. sent me this. Now, this is what is, this is probably the main thing, um, the, the biggest thing that I see going around uh, this morning, and that is pretty cool. They're, they're um, sending this, it's a Ripple commercial. I mean, it, well, I don't know if it's um, issued by Ripple. I think it might be issued by someone who is using Ripple, uh, some particular app or something, but um, it the entire commercial is runs on ripple and they show all the different companies i think it's a ripple commercial i should before i started this video i should have gone to ripple's um feed to check it out but um i'm almost positive it has to be put out by ripple because um they they talk about a lot of the different companies at the end that run on ripple so it's you got to watch this commercial if you really want to put all this together in your mind um it's really good Okay, and then this was from Coining203. So this Thursday, we have Jay Clayton speaking right after Brad Garlinghouse is going to speak. Let's see what major comes out of this. Michelle Bonds will also be moderating an event this week at FinTech. Um, so you've got, this is the D, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, I guess it's called D.C. Blockchain Week. Now, what are the chances of Brad Garlinghouse and Jay Clayton, the commissioner of the, uh, the chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission, what are the chances of both of those guys being at one event on the exact same stage uh, just right before Ripple uh, has their swell event? I, I, I think that uh, usually when something, when something kind of pops in your head and jerks at your gut a little bit, Usually there's something to it, and this jerks is is kind of poking me in the gut. <laughs> okay, Crypto Deluxe at Mycor Eczema um, sent me this. I I had never seen this graphic, but I thought it was a pretty cool graphic. Why use fiat as liquidity when XRP can be the supplemental, the solution to free up trillions of dollars in escrow accounts? And this it shows the old way with traditional bank wires. I've never seen a graphic where it shows what it would be like with Bitcoin and sh compares it to Ripple. Here it says Ripple six seconds and it shows Bitcoin taking seven to 45 minutes. I've never seen it, but this look, it says source Ripple. This must be a graphic that Ripple created. I just don't remember seeing that graphic, but that's okay. And then we got this from, uh, this is um, at zero LLAC3. I guess that's what that is. I don't know if I follow that person. Yeah, I do. Okay, we build a we build a X Rapid ODL tracker thanks to this person for the code for the uh, for the future design and da 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 for open the way. It's proof of concept for the moment, but it will it work it works well. I guess is what they're trying to say. But um, this you can kind of they've got music behind it and da 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 da. But this. It's like when I was showing Alex Cobb's thing yesterday, it seems kind of all Greek to me, but there are many people in the XRP community that speak Greek, <laughs> speak tech. And so you'll see that and you'll see something that excites you. I see it and I'm just like, oh, okay, next thing. <laughs> but it is um, apparently a um, something that worthy of checking out anyway. Um, XRP Honey Bear. 
at C underscore Mike 13 um, and sent me this from Han Solo. It, it is time for XRP. Central banks are out of ammo. UN head demands immediate fiscal stimulus to save world from crisis. And this is from Zero Hedge. Uh, so they're, they're demanding, we must print money, we must do this, we must do that. They never stand up there and say, we need to let the free market run its course. That Oh, that would be horrible. Because then they can't be the central figures in controlling everything. <laughs> so that would be a horrible solution. What if we actually had a, a, a free market? There's an idea. Um, no, can't let that happen. Um, XRP Trooper at Trooper XRP uh, sent me this. Now, I was on my back porch last night and I saw this come on and I watched it. In fact, I had to yell at my kids two different times because they're trying to talk while Christine Lagarde is being interviewed on 60 Minutes. And um, here it says Christine Lagarde discusses the United States risk of losing leadership in the global economy. Really, I didn't get too much out of her interview other than that. They they were talking about how she's a uh, she's a leader and, and how she's added more women to um, the IMF. And I think she, they were talking about the IMF. But anyway, the gist of it is she was talking about the United States getting left behind, that, that type of talk, which surprised me. Okay, Michael at VAL5Links sent me this. Um, uh, Mr. B had sent this out. I missed this. Saw this in the comments section of the Digital Asset Investors video from today. This guy says, a friend of mine who works for the Australian Stock Exchange just bought 250,000 XRP. Something big is about to happen. And he has been in the business for 35 years. So I guess he knows something. Now, who knows if this means anything whatsoever, folks. It could just be some guy throwing out some made-up comment. We don't know. It's just when we see something interesting, we know, what I know, is that there are a bunch of smart people and adults that are listening to me, and the younger people have been watching long enough to get that we show things. It doesn't mean that every single thing we say, oh, that's thousand percent true. It just means we think you're smart enough to decipher through all of this. Um, I do not make assumptions that people that are listening are dumb people. I make assumptions that they are intelligent people. If you are in the digital asset space, you are ahead of probably more than 99.999% of the population, which in my opinion makes you pretty sharp. So I, my assumption, I'm operating under the assumption that you are all intelligent or at least higher than average intelligence. Jonathan D at XRP underscore YD7 sent me this. China wants to replace cash with a cryptocurrency, a project that would give the authorities extraordinary new power to track how people are spending their money. Let me tell you about the how ironic I find this statement. Now, for the last 10 years, all we have heard is about how shady uh, Bitcoin is, how shady cryptocurrencies are, and how people are going to try to... Uh, hide money and it's for money launderers and all of this. Now, when China, I mean, that's all we've heard out of the United States. Now, when China is about to put out their own currency, they completely flip it and say that, oh, well, this is going to give them extraordinary new power to track the, the currency. In other words, cryptocurrencies are more trackable than what was already in place, which we've said a lot on this channel. Bitcoin's not untrackable. It's actually just the opposite. It's very trackable. It's, it's more trackable than anything else, more trackable than actual cash, um, because everything leads back to certain addresses. You can literally track, track, track all the way back. But isn't it, I find it fascinating that the United States government, for 10 years, all we heard was how scary and shady, oh, this is going to hide money. And, blah, blah. and now, once China's going to put one out, they completely flip what they're saying and saying, oh, this will be make all the citizens completely trackable. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, and then from the block, Binance.com to add fiat pairs starting with Russian rubles in about two weeks. Now, this is where it gets exciting because you want liquidity? Get fiat pairs so that all these big countries around the world 
can all of a sudden exchange their currencies that in those countries make for a lot of liquidity and exchange them in and those become on ramps into cryptocurrencies. This will get a lot of liquidity going. So that's exciting. All right, Chinu Patel at Chinu Patel 29, who is the Financial News Network Bureau Chief of the Planet of the Digital Asset Investor Channel. One important guy. Um, he, he sent me this I am Legion tweet, which I thought was great. When you start to believe, is, is it when XRP, when do you start to believe? Is it when XRP is $10, $100, $1,000? Did people in general believe in Apple stock when it was $1? No, they did not. How about, Am how about Microsoft? How about Amazon? No, they did not. This is interesting. I had never seen this. NTT Data, the world's fifth largest IT services company with 150,000 consultants says, we are well positioned to support Ripple in their journey of global dominant, dominance. Um, and this is what they say, literally, folks. As a part of the fifth largest IT service group and having a global coverage with over 150,000 consultants means we are well positioned to support Ripple in their journey of global dominance. My words, not those of Ripple. Actually, he shows in here that yeesh, it kind of is some of the words of Ripple. I strongly believe XRP will become the global standard. That's from Mr. Katow. I strongly believe it will become the, the global standard in digital currencies. Now, um, I'm not going to go through all of this. These are mentioning all the central banks Ripple works with. What I'm going to, uh, I wanted to mention before I forget, there was a, and, and I am Legion will probably copy it to me today because he, he, this guy can dig up anything. But I remember a tweet a while back where it was a snapshot, and I believe it was from one of Ripple's insights from their website, where Ripple says that our goal is to is to become the world the global reserve currency, which I always thought that was about as bold as bold gets. But he says it pretty well right here. As a question you should be asking yourself, and he's referring to when when. People are calling Ripple the global, you know, like global reserve currency, or they're, they're going for global dominance or the global standard. And the, here's the question he's posing. Has any company ever in the history of the world said publicly and at the same time have other global companies back these statements up in writing? And he's a thousand percent right. I could name 10 to 20, maybe 50 things that Ripple, a private company that is seven years old, has done that I have never seen any private or public company do in, in my entire life, and that my father, the global economic advisor of the digital asset and, and the official father of the digital asset investor channel, has never heard any company, public or private, do or say in their life. This is a bigger deal than anything that either of us have ever seen in our lives from a company perspective. So it's not, this is not some, some just, this is not just me thinking this or whatever. Everybody's thinking it because they should be. Um, okay, Joe Charles now. This is just one of those things, folks, I just had to show you. I didn't go to his website because I didn't know if it's legit. I'm telling you up front, I, I don't know if this is just a joke. I thought it was hilarious, and so I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> this guy says that he has created a dating site, which, by the way, since I'm a married man, I will go nowhere near his dating site. <laughs> let me let me cover my butt real quick. He's called it XRPProfiles.com, where you can date people in the XRP community, I guess. And or maybe he's just going getting to you'll be able to pay with XRP um, on the site. But I think that this is just hilarious. So I, I would. If anybody out there meets on XRPprofiles.com, tell me about it because I would love to cover that. That would would make my week or maybe year. So let me know if you meet on XRP Profiles. I want to hear about it. Okay. From NBK Crypto at NBK L-Y-R-A-D. Sent me this. I thought this was funny too. Check this out. Um, here, It's a little cartoon somebody put together. Uh, Lagarde says 200 partnerships and counting. I'm making things happen. XRP adopt, adoption is going as planned. And then Trump says Ripple and XRP going as planned. I'm just about to tell the world about Bitcoin. 
And then uh, you got, uh, this is the lady from Germany. I'm drawing a blank on her name. Um, oh, F, I better sell Bitcoin. <laughs> and then this guy's got a question mark. Is that Draghi? I don't know who that is. But anyway, and then finally, we've got a request. The day before yesterday, I named the former a former Navy SEAL as an official guy on this channel. Then yesterday, I had a Marine who reminded me that once a Marine, always a Marine. So we've got an official Marine on this channel. Well, the Rangers aren't happy with that. So now this guy, um, XRP Ranger, wants to be the official Ranger of the Digital Asset Investor channel. So it is. I'm a digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that the digital asset investor has Marines, former Navy SEALs, and Rangers on this channel. So there. Thank you for listening. Oh,